Hey guys, so for the longest time you have all been asking for an updated um, office tour and I've been putting it off because my office is always a big big tip. It's, it's a working office and craft room and storeroom and everything so it's usually always messy but it's good right now it is tidy I have tidied it so I thought I might as well do it now while it's tidy um, before it gets messy again so I'll take you in here we go let's go in da -da. Oh, it's a bit dark it's actually lunchtime but because it's January it's dark in here it's I've only got a little window and I've kind of got the blind closed a little bit so you can't see my street. Um, yeah, so this is this is my little room. It's all mine. Um, I don't have to share it or anything. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. So you guys wanted to see kind of where I store stuff and everything and and all that. So I guess I'll take you through. Um, so, where to start because it's a mess. Okay, come in through the door. On the left hand side, these are racks are technically um shoe racks from IKEA. Um they were left in one of the uh, in in one of in the only uh downstairs cupboard by the previous owners and there were loads of them. And so I thought they'd make really good drying racks. Um so I put them on my shelf there only uh, like drying racks for painting only they haven't really got any start painting on there there's a couple of journals and stuff under there there's a box there full of like camera chargers and different device chargers this has got loads of scrapbook paper in it because it's a really good way good place to keep my scrapbook paper so they don't get all bent and stuff so they're on there i've got um smoke alarm that needs to be put up in the um in the hallway but for some reason it's just in my office at the moment and my, my um, mixing palette for my paints that's there um, there just don't look right okay just don't look that is terrible that is all my receipts because I'm really bad at filing that pile here is random kind of stuff you know the sort of stuff that just kind of comes into your house and you don't know what to do with and, and things like that like a lot of it needs to be filed so like a lot of it's kind of um you know like um utility bills that kind of thing <sighs> needs to be filed I do have a filing cabinet just kind of lazy and it piles up and just general bits and bobs that come into the house that you don't know what to do with they make their way they first off they start in downstairs or in the kitchen and the breakfast bar then they make their way up here to my desk and then they kind of make their way to that never touching again kind of pile yeah it's a little bit i'm a little bit ashamed by it but i'm pretty sure most people have stuff like that in the house like all my friends do so i don't feel quite so bad yeah so anyway that's there so um so i've obviously got a shelf that sits above my desk and on my shelf I've just got a light here which I very often need extra light in here because it is quite a dark room even with the blind open it's quite a dark room um, so I often put light on I've got two pots I used to collect pencils when I was a child and that pot there is full of all my pencil collection it's like you know when you go to an amusement place like a tourist destination I used to buy a pencil and yeah that's just my leftover collection and then that pot there is full of different colored pens and they're really heavy they're okay on the shelf but um so when I want to film and I want to do something that's like I'm filming down on my desk I put my tripod on my shelf and I and I put the pen pots on top of it and they weight it down so it doesn't fall off so uh, one of these days I'd like to get like an arm that actually uh, fixes on there permanently and comes off and stuff but that's kind of like a maybe one day so um yeah so i'll just take I've got a picture there of my babies and this a lovely subscriber denise she made and sent for me and i've got a couple of books three three books there that are on my they, these are my um to be read books so i'll take them off 
and I just kind of have a few other like little knickknacks and things on there um as you probably know if you've watched my videos for any length of time I love trolls and I used to collect these as a child and I was very fortunate that when I when Russ trolls were fashionable in the 90s my mum used to work for Clinton Cards and Clinton Cards sold trolls and um, she used to get a staff discount of 50% so um, I used to get a lot of trolls in my pocket money um, I used to have all of them on the Expedit unit that used to be behind my desk but the Expedit unit has gone and I've packed up most of my trolls apart from these three um, and yeah they, those three sit there because they're kind of like my favourites and the rest are packed away for now so on my shelf here I have my planners there are a couple missing I was just trying to think then yeah there's a couple missing this I haven't shown you this this file of facts my mum bought me this for Christmas because she's nice like that um it's the red file of facts Finsbury I haven't used it yet and I told my mum I probably wouldn't be using it I'm going to save that for Christmas because it's all red and lovely but yeah my mum bought me that for Christmas and she's okay with me saving it for Christmas she she gets it so it's just up there I've left the packaging on it at the moment so yeah these are my planners um this here has got stickers in it's one of the Webster's pages boxes and it just kind of contains a load of like different planning stickers and things stickers that are more of the planning variety which are kind of dip in and out of using sometimes I love them sometimes I'm like yeah not so much um, yeah so there's all my planners I know I've got a lot of planners um, but please bear in mind I showed a picture of these on my Instagram that most of these are Webster's pages so from there all the way to there are Webster's pages color crush planners and um, I'm on the design team so I um, got sent them as part of my design team um, uh what's the word obligations practices i don't know so yeah i will probably do a separate video showing you my planners and what they are and everything but i just thought i'd kind of take some of my knickknacks off and show you a little bit of um planners and i'll pop these knickknacks back up otherwise you won't see my desk all that well um can't remember what went where but it doesn't really matter to be honest um yeah so that's my shelf with all my planners on i've got a couple of journals there then i have um a couple of magazine files these are just got like businessy things in like labels punch pockets suppliers like brochures that kind of stuff and then my printer in the corner there then coming down i have the computer and that's there just nothing that exciting um yeah my desk right so i don't know if you I'll, I'll try and link below the original office tour that i did i used um var was it varnish yeah it was varnish over the paint on my desk and it's all gone a horrible color now so at some point i need to scrape this all off and redo it because it's just yeah it's just horrible um but yeah there's my desk so I sit here most of the time and I can look out the windows I've got a radiator there so I'm nice and warm this is my pet rock I found him once and I thought he had a smiley face and he's heart shaped so and he really fits really nicely in the hand so I hold him sometimes he's like he's like my friend he's my pet rock I love him um so yeah next to my where I sit I just like this is my purse because I've ordered something online this is my two most used planners this is my work planner this is my home planner they're usually my work planner to be honest is usually open but because I was doing a video I closed it so that's there then I have a couple of like oh it's my drink and some hand cream and that's a hand sanitizer spray I love it because it smells of lavender and it's just um gorgeous these cards here are cards that I write on when I pop in when I pop them in orders got a couple of more pen pots here these are just like normal sort of mainly blue and black biros and these are mainly pencils rubbers and most used 
most used things. At the back there I've got my Polaroid snap camera. I've got a little tub there of batteries, a spare mouse, memory cards and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to go quick so this doesn't make this like a mammothly huge video. So yeah, then I have these. I bought these. These are shoe racks from Argos and I bought them because the lovely Daisy Martin, who is my green cow on YouTube, she uses them. And I thought they were pretty nifty. So I bought some for myself. I think they were three, four quid. I think. I can't really remember. Or maybe that was the tubs. The tubs are from Ikea... And I think they were three or four quid each. Can't really remember. It's been a long time. So basically in here I have various list pads. I'm a little bit of a list pad freak. Although I've started to try and not get so many list pads. Or you know keep so many like you know because I need to use them. And I'm like you know because I'm it's terrible. Um, this one is stickers. So these are all like more of my decorative stickers. Um, these are all the stickers I own. I also want to say as a caveat, I have been crafting and planning, doing planning stuff and art journaling for years and years and years. And so all of this stuff has been accumulated by years. It's not a, like a new purchase. So it just wanted to like say that I'm not a spendaholic or anything. Um, these are all... Um, Sticky notes, sticky note pads and page tabs and things. These are from Daisy's shop, actually. They're cute. Yeah, sticky notes and tabs. Uh, the one there that's got my personal things in, like earphone, hand cream, little bits and bobs like that. This one has got all my personal planner inserts, like spare inserts, dividers I've made, dashboards I've made, anything for the personal size. Uh, planner in there this one is all paper clips and uh, yeah paper clips and planner charms that's a personal one again that oh yeah that that I bought as a present for my friend who's got a pug only I lost it and now I found it again so I need to send that to her uh, this one is full of like just random bits I've got glue and tape and random random bits uh, this one, as you can see, is letter writing, so that's got notepaper and envelopes, and I've got an overspill here with envelopes. Uh, this box full of washi tape, um, loads of different washi tapes in there. This one has got all like um, stuff for making dashboards, so hole punches and stuff. And I've got a um, to do where well, I just put stuff in there, and it's also got my scales for weighing shop stuff for the shop, so you know how much postage the shop needs to calculate at. So that's the first one. Moving on, uh, just some random stuff. I've got another pot here of toiletries and I don't know, just knickknacks and toiletries and things. Um, pot here just of scissors. Um, and I've got a pot at the back there just of paintbrushes. I I'm a bit of a pot person, I like pots. Uh, then I've got this, this is a twizzly wizzly like a cake stand, only it twizzles, and and you're supposed to. Um, it's got like a reel there, so you're supposed to kind of like put your washi tape on it, and then you peel it off, and then you do that. <laughs> and yeah, only I kind of just keep add shoving, shov shoving washi tapes on the top, so I'm not really using it properly. But um, it's there, so I've got that of washi tape and all that of washi tape as well. A bit of a washi tape fiend um okay so moving over i guess we'll look at the desk first i've got some paper that i bought from um john and i went to cambridge a few weeks ago um and they've got a really nice art shop in there called tindles and i bought some um bought some paper this one's just a dot one um but really nice smooth sketch pad i bought it to make some inserts for my faux dory with and I've got some Day the Rowney heavyweight beautiful paper. And that's just for my Leonie Dawson Shining Yearbook. So those I bought for making the Fodori inserts. I've got my Carpe DM box with just some um, A5 punch pockets in there. Uh, this I 
bought off of Daisy with the intention of putting like my pens and stuff in it because it swivels and I really liked it. Only I haven't got round to doing it yet because I can't sort of decide because I've got pens over there and pens over here and I can't sort of decide what, what to put in it and where to put it, which is, yeah. And also because I'm utilising my pen pot up there for stabilising my camera as well. Um, okay, so over here, this is a postage sack for when I go to the post office with loads of orders. Um, I've got like a little dish. I got this from Ikea. And this just houses my current month's kind of project life and die cuts because I like to just grab them. Like these were in the um, December Brimble's box. Um, so yeah, I can just grab one easily. It's kind of seasonal and I just grab one. I can whack it in my journal. I can whack it in my planner, anything like that. So I just keep a little dish of those. I've got this cloud storage unit. It houses my Fodoris, which I might do a separate, separate, a separate video on my Fodori collection. And then these are kind of stuff that I've got in this, that I had in the shop. And they're basically stuff that I've um, bought for myself. And I'm just kind of, I have used them, but I'm also keeping them in the packets. So I remember what they are. Um, but they're just there, stuff that I'm playing with. Um, I've got more doodads here. I've got a box full of Christmas craft stuff, a box of A5 planner refills. So basically the same sort of thing as in the personal only for A5, like notebooks, dividers, dashboards, stuff that's Christmas planner related because I seem to have a lot of Christmas planner stuff. Um, this box is empty. Um, this one's got all my stamps in it. I don't have that many. I'm not a massive stamper. But I do have some stamps which are in there. And I've got some alphabet ones there as well. Uh, this box here is full of sort of like crafty embellishments that I've accumulated over the years. I don't tend to <clears throat> excuse me, really use crafty embellishments or anything. So massively. But, I, you know, like these 3D kind of button bead things and um, like these... Um, wooden things i just like them and i am hoarding them um you never know when they might come in useful but i do there's just things that have been accumulated over the years really um this here is full of i don't know what those two are doing in there um but that's got all my um pro markers in it this one here has just got random um ephemera and die cuts some different things that i see that I like things out of magazines, things from marketing, anything basically that, um, and die cuts and stuff, anything that um, I pick up and I see and I like, I just chuck it all, all in there and I use it sometimes when I'm like planning or journaling or what have you. Uh, this one, random, 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 um, it's got some twine in it, it's got loads of glitters in it. It's got um, embossing powder, which I don't really use. Um, it's got some punchinella in there and other sort of stencils and, and bits and bobs for kind of doing art journaling and making random marks on pages. Uh, we're getting there, guys. Uh, this one is mainly mainly twine because I use twine for book book binding when I'm making inserts or whatever for things like with my journals or Fodori or whatever I use twine I've also got some whole like punches in the craft punches in there um, that I've acquired over the years and lastly this one is inks like alcohol inks that I use sometimes with my journals and also ink pads like for stamping and stuff so that's all on my desk and then I'm under my desk um is a bit of a mess i've just got like this basket i often it's got loads of art stuff paper journals paint in it that i take outside with me sometimes when i'm um when i'm journaling or painting or whatever and then that box has got more art supplies in it that i don't use and craft stuff that i don't use so much and yeah basically they all have i don't know if you can see it's so dark under there but yeah, basically, got Project Life stuff in the corner there. And so my white box there that is full of um, old journals. So is that one there. They're both full of old journals. Um, and that's it. That's basically it in a nutshell. Um, so behind me, as you can see there, like, so 
forward facing was the desk behind me i have these bookcases and these bookcases this is the mrs brimble shop this is where all the stock is kept um so got like a box here with all the carpe diem stuff um got like tub of all the webster's pages inserts so yeah if you've ever bought anything from my shop this is the shop this is it it's not a no warehouse no stock room just me and my little room so that's all of the stock there so sometimes if i'm creating or planning and i want something i can just turn around and get it out of shop stock which i do sometimes um so yeah that's that's all there uh behind the door i've got a memory uh like a pin board which i just keep adding to as and when um as and when i get sent stuff or when i get like fine stuff or you know like different cards and things that come in packaging or you know anything like that i just keep it and it gets put up on my pin board and i've just got a couple of like random things there and some packs Oh, messy floor. So that's it. This is my room. This is my room and it's like entirety. It's, um, yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not the world's biggest room, but, um, it suits me and it suits my purpose and, um, everything's got a place. It's usually messy, but I kind of just get on with it and it's okay so yeah it was really quick i know i talked really fast but i tried to make it really quick so it wasn't like a really really long video for you um but if there's anything you want to know or see more in depth then let me know and i'll try and do a video on that um obviously that was just like a really quick overview and what's in and around and all that kind of stuff so i hope you enjoyed my little office tour bye Thank you.